A look at the two Japanese hostages kidnapped by ISIS. Yesterday, the man known as Jihadi John, spokesperson for the Islamic State Terror Squad, introduced us to a pair of Japanese hostages and demanded $200 million in U.S. funds in three days for their safe return. The man on the right is Kenji Goto, a freelance journalist specializing in covering war and conflict. The 47-year-old reporter made it a point to place a human face on his coverage by interviewing non-combatants caught up in the conflict. It is believed he disappeared in the north of Syria in mid-October of 2014 while trying to look for this man, Haruna Yukawa. Yukawa's website states that he is a private security contractor in the vein of a mercenary security agent. But the reality is that he is actually a troubled man who left Japan after his wife died, his home was foreclosed on, and he tried to commit suicide by mutilating his genitals. He created the persona of a knowledgeable, hardened gun for hire online and ventured throughout Syria with members of the Free Syrian Army, posting updates of his adventures to social media. He was captured in August of last year when the FSA were defeated in a battle. Now Japanese Prime Minister Abe must decide how best to save the two Japanese nationals while maintaining a hardline policy on terrorism. Tomonews.net is throwing $100 bills of the 20 funniest comments on our website every month. Only at Tomonews.net.